guys, welcome back to Will You Accept This Ride here on The Bachelor Insider. I'm Lisa Schwartz, and you guys, hometown visits, this was a huge episode. Who will she end up with? I need to know. So we definitely need a Bachelor Nation expert to help us break it down, but before we do that, I said it was a hometown visit, so it makes sense that I would bring my mom in here to get her opinion on the whole meeting the parents thing. I'm a grown ass woman, let's go pick up my mommy. There she is, let's do this. Mom! Yeah! Will you accept this ride? You got booze? I always got booze. I'm in! All right. Come on in! Woo! Let's talk some shit and drink some booze! Yay! As yes. a parent, yes. what are you looking for? First, we drink a lot. Okay. That always helps. Yeah. And then we're looking for nice boy. Yeah. What do you do? Like, since someone's sincere. Yes. In love. In love. And how much money are you making? And how much money are you? Rachel makes a lot, so here's to that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's crazy that Eric never brought a girl home before. If I brought home someone that had never been in a relationship before at this point in my life, right. would that be a red flag for you? Well, I would, first I make matzo ball soup. Okay. And, you know, just give him a little mommy love. Yeah. Would you trust him as a mother, or would that be? Interrogation works, and then I would You would just, it. you would like, <laughs> you would just interrogate okay. him until yeah. you get to the bottom of it. Yeah, and then I'd let you know what to do. So I want to play a game with you. Okay. This is called My Mama Knows Best. <laughs> Even that, would, that would be correct. Yeah. <laughs> so I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Wait, let me do my Kundalina breathing first. <laughs> French kissing outside of your parents' house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Going to a farmer's market in Wisconsin. I like the zucchini. What? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fit six people in a four person booth in an empty Wisconsin restaurant. That sounds like fun. <laughs> if you like somebody, just switch in there. That's true, and they were cute little couples, yeah. I thought. Fighting with your dad while he's wearing a purple dress and a turban. <laughs> <laughs> All right, out of the four hometown visits, which guy did you like the best? I love Peter. I love Peter, I love too! Peter. Why do you like Peter? He's taking it serious. He's thinking it through. I think he really is falling in love with her. And well, he's also so attractive. So attractive. Yeah. We have yeah. one more game to play. Okay, yay! Okay. I love games. So here we go. Jello shots or hell no shots, okay. all right? Before introducing your girlfriend to your family, it's a smart idea to feed her a hunk of spicy shredded beef stuffed in a corn patty. What? Hell no! Your father changing his identity to Kundalini master named Peron Roop with a wife named Santatar. Oh, that is just crap. Are gongs instruments of energetic healing? Let's yes. try. Take that shot, bitch! <laughs> have you ever done kundalini? I have. It's a lot of like... <sighs> Wait, what is breathing. that? You're doing breathing. cocaine? Yeah. No, it's like you have to breathe for one thing and then another. It's very confusing. It's would you fun. ever date a man with a long beard? And Never. A... No, but you would date a man with a ponytail. My mom loves yes. a man with a ponytail, oh which is God. so weird. So Brian pulled the full, like, I love you. And all of us were like, swoon, and they yeah. made out really loud. He's got good tongue. Yeah. That would work for me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I hate this. What? Don't you like good tongue? So <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the limo, Jen. You called me in. Here's your sleepy time tea. Oh, thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. I, I, think, I think there's a boy out here with a ponytail. OK. See you, bitch. That was everything and more than I could ever have needed or wanted. <laughs> All right, guys, so since this was Hometowns, I need to call up my homegirl to get up in here. And if you're a super fan, you might recognize her from last year's season when she was on an episode with Nick. Guys, it's Becky. Let's roll the clip. I asked you to come out to visit my dad last week. It really hurt me that you didn't come out to visit and that you stayed home because you were hungover. I was sick. Yeah, from margaritas. Okay, yeah, sorry. I think you should move out. You didn't know who Becky was? What kind of super fan are you? Actually, guys, she's hilarious and she's got some great insight to this. So, uh, AJ, let's step on it. Let's get her. Hey, Becky. Oh. Are you busy? Will you accept this ride? Busy? 
Honey, I haven't been busy since 1992. Oh, this is why I love you. Just come, B-O-A-O-B. You have such a perspective on this show that no one else has. What was your job that day? So, um, the group date that day was that they did like a simulation at the Museum of Broken Relationships. Today's date is all about the art of communicating um, while breaking up. What's that? We kind of showed them how to do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the home visit. Let's talk about the what home did visit. you think as a now bachelor expert? I gotta say, I feel like she hit a, she hit her home run on the first home visit. Oh, with Eric. Yeah. I feel like when she went to his house, it was just like it all felt comfortable. He seems like ready to get married. They seem natural about it, and they were yeah. all dancing. Like I liked it. I'm Same. with you. Yeah. Peter is not ready, right? Peter's not ready. Maybe it's she should just blindside him and be like, "You're ready, bitch. You're I ready." Because so. that's what it takes in this day, and it takes a woman to be like, "You're fucking ready." I think so. So Becky, we're gonna play a game. Okay, what's the game? This is called "For Your Eyes Only." You can only answer these questions with your eyes. Okay. Eric says, I feel for you and not I love you when Rachel was expecting the L word. Oh, girl. As Rachel says, Miami is a sexy and steamy city. Oh, new J date profile pic. That was like, I'm coming. Playing dominoes with a bunch of elderly men is a hot way to introduce your girlfriend to your hometown. Brian's mom saying she'll kill Rachel if she breaks Brian's heart. Fucking Brian! Peter's mom's Kate Gosling circa 09 haircut. <laughs> it was just, I mean, <laughs> everything. I God. loved her. What are your predictions for the season since you're such an expert? I think Gap has it right now. Peter! Because Brian, the mom, was it was too much, and I feel like she's like, mm-mm. Before you leave, I have a gift for you. Since what? you love Colombia so much, and I got you this Colombia Rolitos. I also have a Repas. If you don't know what that is, Google it and I have a great time. It is girthy. Thank yeah, you. I'm yeah. going to take this home, and I'm going to masturbate with it. Bye, Okay, babe. we'll see you tomorrow night at Hyde Sunset Kitchen and Cocktail. <laughs> All right, so my home girl gave us some insight, but now I want to find someone that's really hot, maybe someone that was like on JoJo season, maybe someone who had a tattoo and that got covered up with another tattoo. Do you know who I'm talking about? AG does step on it! Ah, I'm fangirling hard. Grant! Hi. Will you accept this ride? Of course I will. Yes. Actually, you know what, I gotta go. I'm gonna call you back, okay? Come on in! How are you? The Bachelor Nation is blessed to have you here. You were on JoJo season. Yes. And then you went on to Bachelor in Paradise. Yes. And you got engaged. I did. To Lace. Yes. And it was so cute, and you guys went and you got tattoos, which is crazy. Yep. What happened <laughs> to the tattoo? Um, I got the tattoo covered up, actually. It wasn't in any way like a diss to her or anything like that. It was just kind of my way of moving on. Let's it, see it. There it is right there. Yeah. Don't get a tattoo with a partner, ladies and gentlemen. Does she still have hers? I believe so, yeah. Well, I feel like a therapist. You should probably pay me now. Can I pay you in champagne? Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we're finally at the home visit. Yes. Who do you think went the best? Like, who do you think killed it? I would say Eric. Family, Cheers to know, that. So. Okay, let's talk about Peter's home visit. Uh -huh. How do you think that went? Like, he's definitely a little bit hesitant about everything. Being in that kind of a situation is stressful. Well, let's talk like, about the stress of the show. Yeah. What are the stresses? You're just trying to be yourself, but at the same time, whenever you react to something, you feel like you're gonna get judged, you know? So all in all, like, Brian and his yeah. hometown visit, what did you think? How did it go? His mom was, like, pretty intense, so. I mean, I think that for, a girl, especially in Rachel's position where she's meeting someone's family for the first time that she already has like a deep relationship with, like you're already gonna be nervous, right? Totally. His mom and his ex not getting along was part of the reason why they broke up. So that's like compounding things. I would have been stressed out too if I was her. So Dean's hometown was definitely interesting. Uh -huh. I liked it. I thought it was a nice insight to like a different culture and a different like way of doing things. Have you ever done yoga, kundalini yoga? I do Bikram yoga, but I don't kundalini anything. All right, well, I have a game that I like to play with you. This is called kundalini or kundalini. Basically, it's true or false. If you get it wrong, you have to take a bite of my weenie. Cool. To awaken your kundalini energy, you alternate breathing out out of each nostril like this. False. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh! 
it's true. Oh Eat my this God. while I snort out of my nose. Oh my. Fair, dude, fair. I just did that. He's part of the Bachelor Nation, you can't be mad. <laughs> Kundalini is an ancient practice and there is even evidence it was practiced in Salem causing people to mistake it for witchcraft. True. You're gonna have to tattoo a weenie on your arm soon. I know. Yeah. Even though it's mostly just sitting on the floor during breathing work and not moving, Kundalini is hard as <laughs> and it's totally annoying. True. Yeah, but can you say false one more time? <laughs> Nation! What do you think is gonna happen? Where is this going? I got my bets on either Peter or Eric. You don't think Brian's taking it to the end? Mm -mm. Why? I just have a feeling about it. I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna work. Wow, that's yeah. just huge. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Thank you so much for being on the show. You were a delight. Cheers. Cheers. And um, here's to you know finding love and not getting a tattoo until like you've sealed the deal. Everywhere. Thank you so much. You're the best. Good to see, see you. See you soon. Bye. 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 This was so much fun, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of these videos. We're getting down to the wire, guys. We're almost to the end, so I can't wait to see you all next week. See you then. I'm Lisa Schwartz, and this is Will You Accept This Ride? Now, if you excuse me, I need to fangirl a little bit more. <sighs> Will you accept this ride? <laughs>